Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, last time we explored a bunch of Kerchester, which turns out to be quite big actually. Uh, this time we're going to do more of that, but first, I got a comment. Apparently we're still not done with the little ghost girl adventure. Uh, Paula is the aforementioned ghost girl, so we're going to go back and have a look at where she was, and see if we can find the hidden item. Uh... So let's just head on back to whatever this town's called. Hammerlock. It's called Hammerlock. <laughs> uh, there's the train station. Upstairs. Okay, so the spot where she was is just about here. What's this? You found something lying on the ground. You obtained a scrap of reaper cloth. A cloth imbued with horrifyingly strong spiritual energy. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. Thank you for delivering the letter. Huh. Okay, so um, that's the end of that little adventure. Um, I'm guessing the reaper cloth ca causes a certain ghost type to evolve, but I don't know specifically what it does. Um, but we got it, so that's cool. Um, so that little aside done, let's just head back to, uh, Kerchester and keep looking around. So yeah, um, last time we pretty much finished exploring the Hotel Ionia, or whatever it's called. Uh, that's this building here, and that building over there. It's got two buildings. Okay, cool. Did I talked to you already? I think I did. Yes, I talked to you already. I think I already checked all the houses on this side. Just to be sure, let's have another quick peek. Uh, you... I love having snowball fights with my Pokémon. I may have missed this one, actually. If only there were warm snow, we could play outside a lot more. That's called water. It's a thing. It exists. Uh, there's the clothes shop I visited. What's this say? Trainer tips. The Pokémon species you see recommended in your Pokédex will be updated once you manage to catch them all, or when the date changes. Rolly roll. Hello, little friend. It's easy to get depressed when it's cold, but Darumaka are able to store more strength the colder it gets. I'm jealous. Fair enough. So I assume this is the ice type gym. Kochester Stadium. It'd be very strange if it weren't. I watch the gym leaders' matches on the giant telly in the stadium. You sure do. Uh, looks like there aren't any houses on this side. There's this place, though. That's a Sizzlipede, I think? Hello, Sizzlipede. You must have a proper meal first if you want to have a proper battle. The food here is out of this world. It's worth coming here just for this, even if it means going out of your way. Talking about work during a meal? What are you trying to do? Ruin your own food? Hello there, welcome to Bob's your uncle. You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal first. Isn't this a nice tapestry? I bought it at the antique antique market. Oh yeah, it's got the heroes or whatever, the sword and shield people. This dish is cooked to perfection. It's juicy but not overly soft and gives you something to really bite into. I must send the cook my compliments. What a sophisticated child. I absolutely adore watching my child eat. He looks so happy and content. Can I talk to, uh, your friend there on the other side? I don't think I can get over there. Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess I'm done in here. <laughs> Spoke to everyone. There's not much else I can do. Hmm. Uh, 
Is it a tapestry? It looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, it is a nice tapestry. Okay, I can't actually order food here, so I guess that's all I can do. There seem to be a lot of places you can visit that have nothing, like, you can do in them, in this game. Hello. I wanted to have my fringe blown to the side in a hair salon too. So why didn't you? Like, if you go to the salon, they will make your hair much longer, if that's what you want. I don't know how they're doing it, but that, that's the thing they offer. <laughs> oh, hello, I saw you at the shop earlier. The, the cafe. The way their flames wave is so strange. Watching it makes me feel so calm. Aren't these the ones that, like take away people's life force and lure them away from the where they're supposed to be until they die or whatever. Litwick is really messed up. I remember reading like a creepypasta or something about how Litwick was luring trainers to their deaths. Yeah. Because like that's the actual Pokedex entry, it says something like that. My Clobberpuss just spent a good chunk of time in the hot spring. Its body is toasty warm now. What's a Clobberpuss? I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> Hello. I may not look the part, but I completed the gym challenge back in the day. You don't really look that old, like... I mean, I'm a little shorter than you, but you don't seem that much older. This is my favorite TM. Do you want to use it on your Pokemon? TM48 Rock Tomb. Uh, thanks. Boulders are hurled at the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat, preventing its movement. If you want to collect technical records or TRs, check dens in the wild area and have max raid battles. Okay, I think I've pretty much explored Kirchester at this point. I got a lot of it done last video, it's just slightly bigger than one video's worth of looking around. Sometimes the only thing to do in the cold weather is have an ice cream. Good luck with that. <laughs> I do like this town's design. Uh, did I talk to you already? I'm sure I did. Yeah. And then you were talking about fire types? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've talked to you already, and then I can go out of here into Route 9, if I so desire. I just want to have a quick look and a little look and see where it goes. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a route. There's a sign for Route 9. There's some trainers here and there. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to the gym now. How do I get to that fishing spot? Can I reach it from here? Oh, I can. Okay. It looked too far away, but I guess it wasn't. Hello, Octillery. Okay, you're probably water type. It's hailing. Uh, let's try a water move, but not a super strong one, maybe. Let's see what happens. Oh, that worked. Okay, so you can use lock on. And yeah, we get hit by the hail, but it doesn't do very much, so no big deal. Okay, one more snipe shot should be enough. Yeah. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Ah, oh, come on. I can hail. That's just rude. Okay, um... I guess we're pretty much done just looking around town at this point. Uh, I'll drop by the Pokemon Center just because I took a little bit of damage there. Uh, I just want to top up my uh, power points and stuff. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Did I talk to everyone in here? Hello. Mike Hovenite and I have been flying all over as a taxi. We really could do with a bit of rest. 
I've seen so many different battles, I've got a good eye of strong trainers and Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you'll get strong. Thanks. The lady at the counter restores the Pokemon in boxes too. She works too hard. Hello, the lady at the counter. Thanks for waiting. Intelling on the rest of your team should be all better now. Hope to see you again. Yeah, I didn't think that would match anything. It's just wildly unlikely. Did I speak to you already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, well we're gonna head into the stadium now. Uh, I talk to you. The ancient hero liked the hot spring, huh? Oh, hello, Hop. Ugh, I lost. It all went to pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I just did what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the Ice Leader's League card. You check out the gym leader you'll have to face, too. You've got Melanie's League card. Is Melanie cute? And me? I've got to figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and no more of this doubting. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Hello. I was trying to talk to your trainer, but okay. You're getting close to the end, but don't you go slacking off just yet. A match in the city of snow. It's as if the weather is cheering me on. I don't know that trainer. She's pretty famous. Is it me? Are they talking about me? I think they're looking at me. Hang on. See? Yeah, they're looking at me. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't she in the news? You were talking about me as well? I think they are. Huh. In order to face Pokemon types you're weak against, you'll need more than courage. Careful planning and strategy are what lead to courage, after all. Hey, Space's Choice. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. I heard that a wishing star fell to you. That means you were chosen by the wishing star, and that also means I've got a Pokeball for you. A moon ball. A Pokeball to make it easier to catch Pokemon that can evolve using a moonstone. Moon balls are curious Pokeballs, they're very good at catching Pokemon that evolve by using a moonstone on them. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? H how do I know whether Pokemon will evolve by having a moonstone used on them? That seems... Am I supposed to go look it up? <laughs> hmm. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Do you want to attempt the gym mission? Of course. Wonderful. Please use the changing room, blah 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 blah. Please head on in to pick up the trap detector. You need it for the gym mission. The trap detector. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm holding it. Would you like to hear the details of the gym mission carried out here in Kirchester? Allow me to explain a little about the trap detector you hold in your hands. The reason you'll need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start again from the last platform you reached. The detector will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Oh, okay. Then on with you, and good luck. So we're doing uh, an HD rumble challenge, basically. Hello. As long as I've got ice type Pokemon with me, I can stay totally chill. When do I should put one of my fires in in first position instead of Inteleon? I don't really know what types ice is weak to. Fire for sure, but I'm not sure what else. Eh, these are all effective. I can probably just use liquidation a couple times.
Cool. You only have one Pokemon? What? There's no way I could lose. You only have one Pokemon, dude. Come on. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? Uh oh. I was going to show where the rest of the holes are, so I know the route I took. Okay. Good, good. I'm so good. I'm glad there's a visual effect so you can get an idea of what's going on without needing uh, to be able to hold the controller. <laughs> Cause yeah. I'm not really sure where the game wants me to go. That worked. Hello. Gym Challenger, I'll freeze you in your Pokemon Solid and shatter you into tiny pieces. It's a bit rude. Oh, you're cute. Cloyster? If you say so. Is Cloyster Ice type? I wouldn't have thought so. Uh... Oh, that wasn't very effective. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my defense. I need that. Okay, water's not very effective against this one. I wonder what type they are. Defense spell? Special defense spell? Oh, attack rose sharply. Yeah, I guess that's worth doing. Oh! Uh, that's not good. Hmm. It would help if I knew what Cloyster was, but I have no idea. Okay, there we go. I got smashed to tiny pieces, along with my pride. Money for winning, money, some money for me. Anything over here of interest? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Hello. 
Gym Challenger. Are you aiming to battle Melanie too? Yeah. You, you know how this game works, right? Alexander, huh? Bear tick. Okay, it's a big bear with a beard. Presumably it's ice type, but I don't really know. Let's try putting out my fire type and see how I go. Let's thrash. Mm, not a problem, okay. Okay, that was super effective, but still didn't defeat it. Oh, confusion. Interesting. Oh no, she won't have cross at me if she hears I lost to a challenger. Maybe you should bring more than one Pokemon then. Just a, just a suggestion. Okay, can't go that way. There we go. Enter a world of silver snow. Oh. Oh, I can't see. I guess that's the logical progression after the previous round. Platform. Continue forward if you can't see where you're going. That's Kirchester Stadium's gym mission. Micah. Uh, okay, hello. I'm gonna assume your ice type. Yeah, you're very ice type. <laughs> bullet seed. Yeah, I like bullet seed. Mm, let me see. I also like the moves I've already got. Maybe I'll change out rest? It's not something I'm likely to use. It's not the kind of way I play the game. Get some better type coverage that way. Just like you won because you believed in your Pokemon. Believe in yourself and move forward. Money for winning. Thanks, my dude.
Just walk very slowly here. Okay, platform. Oh, hello. Can't go that way. Can go this way. Yeah. Did I miss anything? No, just one trainer. Cool. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Mission cleared. Do a little wave. So that was kind of like the Gen 3 um, ice mission, um, where you had to walk on on the on all the ice platforms to break them, but you couldn't step on them more than once. It was kind of like that. It was a lot easier because that one you had to plan ahead and like have a certain strategy and stuff, which was interesting. Uh, I think we need to stock up on revival items and stuff. We should be okay though. Do we have anything that restores PP? I don't think we do. We don't. Okay, let's go. I might chuck down a quick save. I sure did. Oh, she is cute. I am Melanie. As you can clearly see, I've assembled a team of all Ice-type Pokémon. You. You aren't sore all over from falling in a hole or two, are you? Even if you are, I'm not going to hold back. Alrighty, I suppose we should get started. You won't be able to escape when I freeze you solid. And after that, well, you'll see. I think you'll find my battle style is quite severe. Oh, look at all her hair. Oh, what a cutie. She's got so much hair. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. You're a challenge for a to Melanie. Oh. Adorable. Sent out Frostmoth? Ooh. Yeah, that's a moth, alright. Okay, let's, I guess, lead with just Cynthia fighting normally. Uh, we won't Gigantamax until we have a fire type out. Uh, sorry, Dynamax. Gigantamax is the other one. Yeah, that's what I figured. Cynthia's, like, strong enough to take out some stuff without the type advantage. Uh, I don't know what that is. Dalmanitan? Da, 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 da oh, okay. It kind of looks a lot like Melanie herself. I, is she dressed like one of these guys? Is that what's going on? Because that's kind of cute. Uh, use Taunt? What does Taunt do? It makes me attack or something, right? Zen mode. Oh. Uh, it turned into a fire type? It's kind of a bad idea. Yeah. I don't think you thought that through. Bada -ba ice cube, is that like an ice cube? Yes. <laughs> what the heck? It looks so silly. Uh, we'll start with liquidation again. Wait, what just happened? Ice face. Oh, it like absorbs your first attack until until you break the ice cube. Interesting. I 
I still don't know what Taunt did. Uh, Lapras? Yeah, I can take a Lapras. Even if it cracks, ice is still ice. I'll show you what I mean. Y you're gonna crack some ice and then throw it at me, or...? I mean, I'm just guessing. Come on, come now, go on a Gigantamax, let you freeze everything solid. Okay, I should probably, uh, do this. Oh, she cut a little Pokeball, what a cutie. Yeah, I should probably do this with, um, my, um, minecart guy. My partner's signature move invites you to a Sub-Zero world. G-Max Resonance. Is that like a Lapras specific move, or is that just the Ice move? Not very effective. Aurora Veil vale, stronger against... I couldn't read that. Uh, I'm just gonna do a U-turn and put out one of my fire types, and then next turn I'm gonna Gigantamax. Effective, good. Okay. Dynamax, uh, Max Flare. Okay. Big Pokeball. Max Geyser, that sounds bad. That's water type, isn't it? Ooh. That's not good. Oh dear. Um. That could be a problem. Okay, I can't Dynamax again because I just did it. Uh. It sent out an electric type. Oh, but they can't Dynamax any longer either, and he lasts a few turns. Okay, maybe I can still win this. Paralysis? Yes, very good. Bada -ba Heck yeah! God, she's so pretty. <laughs> I just want to climb into a hole. Well, I guess we're more like falling from here, right? Got some money. Look how cute she is! You're, you're pretty good, huh? Of course, seeing my Pokémon lose is sad, but to meet someone so young with such ability is quite grand. Here, take this sparkling ice badge. It's a little ice cube. Adorable. Now catch Pokemon up to level 50. For some reason, I can't help but imagine my son challenging you after you become the champion. If that time comes, give him a right thrashing, would you? You have a son? I don't know who he is. Danielle, my sincere congratulations for your victory over gym leader Melanie. Please take this commemorative TM. Icy wind. I don't think she used that at all, but okay. User attacks with a gust of chilled air. This also lowers opposing Pokemon's speed stats. Here's a uniform for you too. It's the same as what Melanie wears, so it's a quite popular replica. An ice uniform. That ice badge looks great on you. Keep at it, Challenger Danielle. Cool. Uh, so that's that done. Uh, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, I don't want to get drawn into another long cutscene because we're already past half an hour, so I'm just going to chuck down a save. And in the next video, we're going to 
uh, take a look around Kirk Chester and see what else has to offer, which I already sort of did that. So I assume there'll be like a new cutscene or something. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, next time we'll continue. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> Making good progress. Cool. Bye! <laughs>